Hi everyone, tonight we're going to have um, prawn laksa for dinner. Um, this is the curry paste that I normally use, the brand is Richmond. I normally have to get this from Asian supermarket, but it's worth it. As you can see, there's a lot of um, ingredients to make laksa. So what I normally do is I boil everything the day before and I also make the broth the day before. So all I have to do tonight is just assemble all the ingredients in the bowl, reheat the broth, and then serve it up. First thing I have to do is prepare the water to boil your noodles and vegetable. For this you need egg noodles, um, rice stick noodles, some frozen prawns, frozen fish balls and some whiting fillets just make sure that you defrost all these frozen ingredients before you boil them and the next thing I do is chop all my vegetable in this one I use bok choy, pak choy, bean sprout and spring onion for garnish you also need some red chilies if you like your laksa hot like me. Otherwise, just leave this bit out. The water is now boiling, so now in goes the egg noodles. And when it's cooked, just drain them and then set it aside. And I'm reusing the water again because it's already hot, so it doesn't take that long to reboil. Now it's time to boil the rice stick noodles. This doesn't take very long to cook, so make sure you don't overboil it and drain it and then set it aside. Straight away, I like to pour a little bit of vegetable oil on the noodles. Um, this is just to make sure that they don't stick together and form clumps of noodles. Now you're ready to boil the rest of the ingredients, which is vegetable and the meat. The first thing I'll boil is the bok choy. And then the bean sprout. This doesn't take long to cook at all, so keep an eye on these guys. Don't overboil it. And then set it aside. And then soft boil the eggs. As you can see here, I'm actually chopping some of the big pieces into smaller pieces and then start boiling the prawn and the fish. They don't take very long at all and take out the egg when they're ready. And then the last thing that you want to reheat is the fish balls and then drain and set them aside. For our laksa, we like our eggs to be soft boiled or medium boiled. Now it's time to make the broth. First, you need one chicken stock. I use the brand Massel. So you mix it up with water until it dissolved. Set that aside. Now you want to fry your curry paste to make it fragrant. And then you put coconut cream. And then you put the chicken stock in and then simmer for about 20 minutes. That's it. Now you're ready to use it the next day or straight away. Good morning guys, today is the most exciting day in December for me. I get to make my gingerbread house. Candle of choice today is cinnamon caramel swirl. First of all, you need 400 gram of golden syrup. 
When you're working with sticky things like golden syrup or honey, I like to make sure that I spray the container with vegetable oil. So when it comes to pouring it out of the container, that all comes out easily and nothing sticks to it. And then you put in four teaspoons of ground cloves, six teaspoons of cinnamon, and six teaspoons of ginger. Now it's time to mix all this ingredient over low heat on the stove. I actually forgot to put the custard sugar along with all the other spices. You're supposed to put them all together. So you need one kilogram of custard sugar. And you just keep stirring it until all the sugar has dissolved properly. Once the sugar has dissolved completely, it's time to take it off the stove. And then you want to put four teaspoons of bicarbonate soda this will make the mixture change color it'll turn into light brown color rather than dark you'll see it in a minute now you need some unsalted butter you need 600 grams of it. I melted the butter a little bit in the microwave just to um, bring it to a room temperature because my butter was from the fridge. And then you mix it until the butter has disappeared completely. Now you need to whisk six eggs until the yolk and the white has combined properly. And then you need 1,600 grams of plain flour. Now it's time to pour the egg into the syrup mixture. And then you can start incorporating the flour do it bit by bit and then it will get a little bit hard towards the end so i have to ask jason for help as you can see here okay now it's time to roll out the dough you make sure you cover your bench with plain flour and then you just keep mixing the flour in until you get the right consistency that you can roll the dough out and then you use your template and start scoring them like I do here but don't be tempted to peel off all the excess leaving the excess intact will keep the shape of your house perfect as per the template otherwise it will spread out and then you have to recut everything again and as you can see here I always sprinkle the um the dough with some plain flour before I put the paper on because I'm not using um, baking paper I just use normal A4 paper now it's time to put them in the oven you need 180 degrees Celsius oven for 15 minutes as soon as you get them out you need to cut out all the holes that you need the door the windows you have to do this while it's still hot, otherwise you'll break the walls. And then you put in the hard candy for the window. This is optional though, sometimes I just leave it um, open. And then you can remove all the excess. The walls with the lollies, you want to put this back into the oven so that the lolly can melt. 
You do this by putting it into 160 degrees Celsius oven. Here it is, that's the final product. Good morning guys. Sorry I told you a lie yesterday. Today is the most exciting day in December, apart from Christmas Day. Today I get to actually construct the gingerbread house. As the glue, you need to mix four egg whites until it's a soft peak like that. And then into the egg whites, you stir in six cups of icing sugar, which unfortunately I forgot to tape the uh, mixing part of it. So as you can see here, I'm starting to construct my gingerbread house. The icing mixture that I have made, I put into a piping bag. Um, the consistency of this icing mixture is quite thick, which is what you need exactly to construct the house because you want the glue to be super strong. So you don't want the mixture to be runny at all. As you can see here, I forgot to get the tin out of the inside of the house and I forgot to put the, um, the, the, the fairy lights. So I have to re-glue the roof again. And then this is the fun part of the project, putting all the colorful lollies on it. As you can see here, I actually put more water into the icing mixture so that it is a little bit more runny because you don't need the really thick um, glue to glue the lollies onto the house. So it makes your um, icing mixture goes further. Okay, um, to put the tiles on the roof, this is the best way to do it, I found. Rather than put the glue on individual tiles, um, it's easier to put the glue onto the roof itself. And then just cover all the gaps with um, more icing sugar. It looked like snow anyway, so you can't really put too much icing sugar in my opinion. It just looks like blizzard. <laughs> Okay, um, this year I found these really cool Lego lollies, um, which actually work. <laughs> um, so I decided to make the chimney of my house out of these Lego lollies. It's so cool, I've never seen them before. But it doesn't click in properly, so you have to actually use the icing to glue it together. And here I'm making the path to the house. And I use this colorful um, lollies to make the path. And for the fence of the house, I used the leftover um, gingerbread. And I decided to go all out and use nearly all my hundreds and thousands um, as the grass of my gingerbread house. I thought I'd go all out this year. It's all for you guys. <laughs> and I found this Bilby chocolate and then some of this plastic um, koala ornament and kangaroo ornament. So cute. I actually been using it in my garden outside so I have to wash them before I use this. So I've got koala, kangaroo, bilby and a holden ute. Actually I don't know if it's holden but it's a ute. <laughs> so it's a, an Aussie version of a gingerbread house. So that's basically conclude the construction of my gingerbread house. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like it. Bye.